Hey, what's going on there, YouTuber? So I love YouTube. I'm always on YouTube trying to figure out how to do something. And in my discovery, I have found that in a 240 system, you don't need the neutral. And that was my whole, I guess, conundrum on trying to figure out how to run this. So I've ran switches for a dryer and for my um, uh, air compressor and the outlet somehow required four connections on that, uh, but this doesn't require four connections. It only requires three. The well pump itself has four coming off of it, but then in the pump control, it does something with a capacitor connecting things, and I'm not sure what it really does, but it eliminates the neutral. And so running through this system, I want to just kind of show how I was going to set up uh, a well pump feeding a storage tank and then the storage tank then piping to a booster pump and then the booster pump feeding a pressure tank and the pressure tank going to the house. Currently my parents have a two gallons a minute uh, well and so it's not enough to feed the demands of water throughout the day and so the storage tank is going to help balance that out. Um, being that a two gallon a minute still does supply about uh, 1200 gallons a day they should be able to maintain water and water pressure with this system so here's the electrical schematic I still got to draw out my plumbing schematic but uh, here's the electrical schematic on how I'm going to do that so the well pump is connected to the control the control is then connected lead to lead one uh, to the pump tech in between lead one, I have a float switch at the top protecting overflow. So when the float switch is up, it'll disconnect the switch. When the float switch is down, it'll go ahead and reconnect the system and then allow the pump uh, or the well pump to uh, supply water into the, into the uh, tank. And then uh, the pump tech monitors the voltage of whether the well is straining so I'm not sure how that works out but uh, I saw I saw a lot of reviews that the pump tech works really well in allowing the well to rest and then maybe the water to even refill and then you can resume and then it'll detect whether it's straining again and then shut it off and allow it to uh, resume again so anyway that's how that works out and then from the lead one and the lead two goes into the main panel and then in the main panel I'm running a 15 amp breaker and then I also need to supply power to a booster pump so again another 15 amp breaker going out this is going into a pressure switch the pressure switch has four uh, little connectors and the four connectors are lead one, lead two, and then lead two, lead one, I think is, is what I've been. And it could be lead one, lead two, lead one, lead two. I'm not sure, but just don't just don't mix them up, right? So don't go lead one, lead two, and then lead one, even though you hooked up lead two, and then lead one, right? So anyway, uh, and then it has ground, of course. Now, I'm doing the same thing here with the float switch, and what I'm doing on this side is I'm running a wire all the way from the storage down into the system and then out over to the uh, pressure switch because I want the booster pump to be protected when the storage tank is low. So when the float switch is down, so it's going to be wired backwards instead of like this way, so when the float switch is down, the system is on. When this float switch is down, the system is off. When the float switch is up, the system is on. And so that's how I'm going to set up this float switch. So there will be a little bit of water left at the bottom, but it won't be enough for the booster pump to like, you know, pull gun gallons and gallons of water. So that's what this float switch is to protect the booster pump. This float is to protect the well pump. Actually, it doesn't protect the well pump. It just pre prevents an overflow um, on the storage tank. So hopefully this diagram helps out somebody out there. Uh, it took me a few hours of research and trying to figure this all out. But uh, 
Apparently, there's no ground, or I'm sorry, there's no neutral needed for a 240 system. If this is a 140, I'm sorry, a 120, if you're looking for a 120 hookup, um, if your well pump allows you to switch to 120, there might be something in the pump control to like switch a jumper or something, then this red wire, just replace it with the white wire. So the white wire will be your 120 neutral, and this will be your 120 hot. Just run the system that way, and then uh, this will disconnect the 120 system. So same thing here, white wire coming out, and then uh, disconnecting the lead wire on the float switch, uh, same, same principle. So this actually works for both the 240 and the 120, so just realized that. <laughs> All right, well, I'm signing out, guys. Have a wonderful day.